Hi everybody, Jermaine Lucier here. It's currently August 2014. The last tour I shot at the apartment was in December 2013. I figured in the last eight, nine months, I bought a lot of new prints, I've got a lot of new originals, we changed the design of the apartment around. It's time to take a tour. Join me, please. As usual, the tour will start at the main entrance and the foyer. Around the door, as if to guard it, are a bunch of Mike Mitchell portraits. That goes into a Mark Englert 2001. A couple Scott C prints, including the Avengers. Mike Mitchell Ant-Man, followed by a Dave Perillo Treehouse of Horror. There's almost too much to actually name everything on this wall. So I'm just going to give the basic tour as usual. You see some Ollie Moss, Anthony Petrie. This is one of my rotating 24 by 36 slots that's currently a Martin Anson Enders game. More Dave Perillo. Specially commissioned N.E. Harry Potter. Laura Zombie. Pellegrino. Brand new Mike Mitchell. That's a mini metal Craig Drake that you had to wait eight hours in line for. You got it free though. Some original art from Why the Last Man. That's an explorer's print autographed by Joe Dante, the director. Ian Glaubringer. Some Alad Lewis. That's just too funny. Gotta come down here. Tom Whalen Commission, 80s Monsters. Joey Spioto. Zoltan, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Jason Leewag and Mike Mitchell, another portrait. This is a Patrick Awa wrestler. And Sam Smith. And we end the wall with another 24 by 6 slot. That's Kevin Tom. The foyer wall goes into the hallway, which is also densely packed. Got a couple prints from The Wire. And then our row of Mike Mitchells, mostly JLUs. The main living room wall behind the couch is missing a poster, as you can tell. Three Ali Moss Star Wars, two Aaron Horky Lord of the Rings prints. Once he makes his Fellowship of the Ring, that will move to where the one is on the left, and we will have three and three. If you move there, after that I have one of my f finest new pieces. 24 by 36, Craig Drake, Millennium Falcon, on metal. This is our Scott Campbell print wall, um, and it is most of the Scott Campbell prints that I own. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single one. Um, you can sort of tell here, press pause if you like, uh, but they're pretty great. Um, below it is a 101 piece by Jeff Boys called The Uncool. And as you can see, Lester Bangs is looking at his CDs, but that's looking at our DVD shelf. And also, from waiting online at the Scott, latest Scott She Show, above here we have an Alan Lewis, Hermione. Ollie Moss Breaking Bad set and the other Allie Lewis from The Breakfast Club. Next to that we have our bar area which has three prints in it. Tequila, obviously, by DKNG. Snow White by Clark Orr. And then an Unlimited Juice from the Arrest Development 1988 show. Above the kitchen we have these very cool matchbooks by Tom Whalen, all movie themed of course. Pan down. The kitchen is all food themed just like last time with a couple additions such as this Aaron Horky Ratatouille. These Josh Budich food prints. J. 
Jessica Deal Breaking Bad, Wayne's World, Molly Moss, some more Josh Budick Ghostbusters prints, 100% Soft, Lost Boys Eating Maggots, Jason Edmondson Eating Maggots, and there's always money in the banana stand. Outside of the kitchen, we have two Aaron Horkies, the There Will Be Blood variant and Pan's Labyrinth regular. Pan down to our shelf of Scott Campbell originals, most of which are new, and those are, yes, Joey Spioto storybooks. But we're going to go one by one on the originals. Swingers. The Sandlot. Magnolia. The Empire Strikes Back, A League of Their Own, West Side Story, and Boogie Nights slash Angels Live in Our Town. These are all mine except for Jane's favorite movie of all time. From the shelf, we're going to go into the hallway where not much has changed since the last tour. We have a Jeremy Geddes Acadia, J. Ryan Ferris Bueller's Day Off, my Ollie Moss paper cut OG and then Mike Mitchell's The Cooks. All the way we'll walk into the bedroom which you saw a glimpse of before. On my side of the bed we start with one of my favorite pieces Jeff Boy's Rad. Ken Taylor Halloween. Tim Doyle Arrest Development Original and one of my first prints, my one of one Eric Tan the Crash. Yes, I have to do this. Signed by Damon Carlton and Eric Tan himself. Above my, the closet, we have DKNG, followed by a JC Richard Journey, another DKNG, and behind the door, Darrell Moss. And the rock. Now moving towards Jane's side of the bed, we have a Star Wars theme with DKNG Millennium Falcon, Dan McCarthy Hoth, the X Wing by DKNG, and that yellow will lead us into currently a Tom Whalen Finding Nemo, and a one of one original watercolor I commissioned by Jason Weidel. Prince John. The main wall in the bedroom is still our Miyazaki wall, but when it used to be just Ali Moss, it is now expanded to also Bruce Yan. So we have Kiki's Delivery Service, Howl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, and My Neighbor Totoro, all variants leading up to another Yan, also My Neighbor Totoro. And down the side here, we have this really awesome Wally print. And another Bruce Yan, Aladdin. Above our TV is what we like to call the Kevin Tong Scott Pilgrim wall because it is just Kevin Tong Scott Pilgrim pieces. 24 by 36, the 18 by 24 Sex Bob Bomb, and the original sketch for that Sex Bob Bomb. Kevin, we're waiting. Something right here. Leaving the bedroom, back into the hallway that you remember, we have a tiny Ali Moss wall. Evil Dead, Ollie Jock, Real Steel Original, yes, I said Real Steel, followed by The Last Crusade. We have a guest bathroom we don't use too often, so we figured, let's fill it with art. We kind of call it our map room. Stefan by Glenn Brogan tells you it's a bathroom, and the maps start with Andrew DeGraff's Ghostbusters. This isn't quite a map, but it is... Mark Englert's Blackwater has some great glow-in-the-dark under those lights. DeGraff, Indiana Jones, Temple of... That's Raiders, actually. That's Jaws and The Breakfast Club. That is Temple of Doom. And we're going to just go crazy with the shot here. Oh, Disneyland, hello. And then below the towels... Last Crusade. Leaving the map room, bathroom, we go into the final room, the second bedroom, slash my office, slash the stout room. Every piece of art in here is by Tyler Stout, including these three 18 by 24s 
these two behind the door, these handbills slash gig poster slash more handbills, more handbills, and more handbills, followed by nice 18 by 24, and yes, more handbills. And you know what? Why not a Tyler Stout Frisbee and some other little things as well. But then, yes, it's all about the Tyler Stout wall. Featuring some of my prized 24 by 36 Tyler Stout screen prints. We even have two more here. And then, yeah, there's the flat file with a bunch of stuff we're working on. See what's what. Those are all filled. One last thing. We swing back to the foyer where, oh yeah, that other wall has art on it too. That's a Glenn Brogan Commission sand line. It's an Eric Tan Los Angeles print. Spaceballs. DKNG Spaceballs. Mark Englert Star Wars. And Pee Wee Herman. Well, that's the apartment. I hope you like it as much as I do. Took a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort, but it's worth it. I love it. Thanks a lot.